Good morning. We're going to try this a little differently today. We're going to record this and then we'll post it up online for you. Uh, welcome to the Enwood Snowmobile Olympus. It's uh, round two of the TLR Cup here. And uh, we're off uh, getting ready for a great day of racing. So a little bit of weather challenges early this morning, although it appears the snow is clearing. Uh, chilly temperatures making great horsepower. should be an awesome day of racing. So before we get into our normal program here, we just like to take a moment and uh, recognize Hunter Hool and Billy Travis, two of the racers who we lost yesterday. Um, we'd like to just wish our sincerest sympathies to the family. The snowmobile racing community is, is very tight. It's, it's like a family. So uh, we are all going to rally together to, to keep each other strong through this very sad time. Uh, with that, we'll get into some of the details of the day here. It is uh, uh, $10 a day for entry, and there's free parking. Kids 12 and under are free, so bring them with. Uh, weekend pass, they're going to throw in some extra tickets for hot cocoa, hot dogs, you name it. Uh, racing is starting at 10 both days, and then we will have a meet and greet where you can come out and meet the Pro Champ drivers after the Pro Champ final today in the main building. Yeah, it's going to be a great day. Uh, we're actually very fortunate today to have uh, Gunnar Stern with us. He pilots the number 220 Skidoo all the way from down in Illinois, and I know Gunner's raced in Ironwood for a number of years. So we're going to welcome Gunner in with us and ask us a couple of questions and then get him off to the driver's meeting. So, Good morning. Good morning. How's it going? It's good. It's good? It's cold. That's good. <laughs> it's cold yeah. and good. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about uh, the Ironwood track and uh, your experiences here. Um, I've been racing here, like you said, for, I don't know, probably three or four years. It's hard to keep track now, but it's honestly one of my favorite tracks. It's so fast. It's super long. It's really rip the corners. You can keep a lot of speed in the corners. It's uh, it's kind of racy. You know, you can keep a couple different lines. Um, you know, it's not too hard to get around people. They mess up. You know, it's not so tight where you know you're kind of stuck behind someone. But it's a it's a fun track. It's uh, there's great people here, and they put on a good show. It's great pits. Everything about it's just really really awesome. Good. Now this track's obviously quite a bit different than where we raced last week at Buffalo River. Oh, yeah. um, shorter track, more banking, that type of stuff. So what do you do different to your sled today before you jump on it, um, setup-wise? Um, setup-wise, probably be mostly handling stuff, stuff that you know kind of affects me as a driver. Um, and be messing with the handlebars, kind of getting them a little bit in a different position. You know, because on this track, you'll be a little bit more upright in the straightaways. You won't be tucked over so much. Um, you might be messing with the camber a little bit, so you're trying to get those skis to dig in a little bit more. This track has a little bit less bank, right. so it's going to want to have to make it turn a little bit more. Um, be messing with the suspension a little bit, you know, it's uh, kind of a little bit more, a little bit less G-force maybe here because there's less bank, so you might need a little bit more squat and suspension. So a little little bit different things. Um, some stuff might just leave, you know, engine-wise, um, maybe your jetting, your carburations, uh, that stuff you might just leave. Kind of depends. So tell me what kind of speeds you're expecting here. Um, yesterday in practice we were running pretty quick. We were a little bit, you know, just over 100, you know, hopefully oh. today in race, a little bit racing a little bit faster. Um, so I mean, maybe get up to closer to 105, maybe, you know, you never know. Wow. Uh, is there any sort of a draft that happens in some of the areas like this? Can you tuck in behind somebody and, and, and make a difference? Do you feel a pull from that? Maybe a little bit, you know, kind of tuck in behind someone, especially on these colder days, you kind of like to get behind someone, kind of block that wind, <laughs> yeah. block that, you know, snow dust in your way. But, uh, yeah, you kind of have to be careful then, too, you know, if someone's right in front of you, you kind of have to be careful because you never know what they're going to do, especially on these sleds. They get sideways real quick, so right. you kind of have to, you know, be aware of that. And so you mentioned snow dust. It's snowing here right now. It's expected to snow until about noon today. Um, when you're out there on the track, we were talking earlier, you know, once you get three, four sleds back, it's really hard to see. What do you have to do as a driver to combat that? You definitely uh, you want to be you know, get hold, good hole shots. You know, that's like, you know, you know that's key at any track, but especially, you know, on a, on a day like this where the snow is going to affect you when you get further in the back. You know, I've had experience with that. I mean, I work my way up, starting in the back, you know, and it's, uh, you get a lot of practice, you know, kind of trying to fight the conditions and fight other people. So it's, uh, you know, you have to find a line that's uh, where people aren't, you know, you can't be pushing your way through traffic, you know, that's sure. not safe. You're going to have to be respectful of that. Right. It's more fun to be out front. No, oh, definitely. <laughs> yeah. It's definitely more fun. Um, big track, fast track, a little different than last week, so we're going to put you on the spot like we do with all our drivers. Give us your top three. You can't pick yourself. Yeah, I know. You told me that. Man. <laughs> yeah, I didn't like, well, he said it was going to go 220, 220, 220. <laughs> I feel that confident. You know, I, I feel like, you know, coming off last week, I feel like we found something, you know, during the week, a couple things that went wrong. I think we're going to be strong. But if I had to pick three, not me. Um, I know from just from looking at yesterday, uh, Dustin Wall was real quick. You know, coming off last week, yeah, he was number one qualifier yeah. last week. And he's from what we saw yesterday, he's still really quick. So uh, you can't put him out. Especially if he's getting good starts, it's hard to get around Dustin. He's a big guy. 
He's a good driver. He's a good driver. You know, he, he makes his he makes himself wide. You know, I tell you that. Um, number two, Matt Schultz. I'd have to say he was fast yesterday too. He's always fast, especially on a track like this. They carry more speed. He's going to be he's going to take a little bit higher line. He's going to be really really quick. He's got a lot of history here too, and a lot of data. He knows this track real well. Yeah, he's yeah. he's one of those guys. He's going to be fast anywhere he goes. Yep. And then, you know, I think I like Joey Fierstead a lot. Mm -hmm. I think he. Uh, they did a lot of testing this week that I saw, and I think uh, I think they found something that, from what I saw. I think they're looking pretty good for this. Good. Well, we know you got to get to the driver's meeting, so uh, we're going to get Gunnar out of his way. His chauffeur's waiting outside patiently for him. Uh, so we're going to get him out of his way. Thank cool. you. Appreciate right. it. Stay Thanks safe. Thanks. Good luck. Good luck. Thanks. We'll see you later. All right. Uh, a little bit about the Ironwood track here before we wrap up today. It's a half-mile track. Uh, interesting facts of, about this track. It's my home track. Uh, can I say my home track if I never race? It's your home track. It's my home track. Um, they actually started horse racing here back in the 1800s, back in the 1890s. So there's been racing on this track for about 125 years. And uh, storied history here. Uh, the harness racing community loves this track in the summer. And uh, the snowmobile race community really has, has taken to it. Ice Oval, actually not Ice Oval, but snowmobile racing started back in the 1960s here in Ironwood. So almost uh, 50 years coming up shortly. Big half mile track, a little bit of banking like Gunnar said. Uh, wide corners are widening them, uh, made it better this year, so I really expect some fast racing. Without a doubt. And so, uh, you know, uh, Gunnar gave us his predictions. Uh, before we get into our predictions, we're going to give you a quick recap of last weekend. Uh, the top five in TLR point standings currently is we got Cardell Potter in the number one spot after winning last week's feature. Uh, Matt Gady, the relative newcomer on that 28 Articat, uh, he took second both both features last weekend, and he is he's definitely fast. So he's holding on the number two spot in TLR points, followed by Matt Schultz, who you know we know he's last year's points champion winner. Uh, be interesting to see how he you know how he does this weekend. Uh, after that, we've got Nick Van Strydonk on that number 13 Polaris, and then Colt Delandria is rounding out the top five in TLR points. So with that, you who are to your pick? top three? <laughs> oh, I have to go first this time. Yep. Well, the challenge is on. Right now, Lindsay's ahead uh, out of six picks. She got two podium finishes correct. I was leading uh, until last week. I went 0 for 3 on the Saturday race last week, so uh, Lindsay's a bit ahead of me. So my top three this week, I'm actually going to put uh, I'm gonna put Nick Van Stridonk on the podium. Okay. I'm going to put Matt Gady on the podium, and I'm going to put Dustin Wall on the podium. No, I'm sorry, Jordan Wall. I think Jordan's going to be fast this weekend. Yeah, Jordan was... Super fast last year at this yep, race. Yep. Really fast. And your top three? My top three, I'm going to put Gady up there. Uh, he, you know, he got those two second places last weekend. He's hungry. He's on a fast sled. It'll be really interesting to see uh, this weekend on this bigger track how he fares. Uh, Matt Schultz, he's won here before. He's fast. I think last weekend, you know, first race, he was kind of dusting off the cobwebs. Um, and then I'm going to put Gunnar Stern up there. He's, he's fast, and he's just been improving ever since he's been in this pro champ class. Uh, yeah, I don't think we can come Gunner out here. He said he's feeling confident. Uh, who's your dark horse? You know, I think what's really hard is there's so many good drivers right now. Mm -hmm. There's so many. I mean, I, you know, Gunner's in the mix. Um, Colt has been you know doing well right off the yeah. bat. Like you said, Dustin Wall has been fast, um, and Dustin didn't make either of our picks. So um, if I have to pick a dark horse, uh, I don't know. I'm going to go... Outside of conventional wisdom, and I'm going to give some love to Bo Van Stratton. Okay. I think with the TNN Racing Partnership, and mm -hmm. uh, you know, Bo's a good driver. He did really well in, in Pro Light last year. I just think he's got a shot at maybe going somewhere. Yep, I would agree with that. Uh, my dark horse this weekend, I'm going to go with Travis McDonald. He seems to fare a little bit better on these longer tracks. Um, you know, last weekend we didn't see him with a great hole shot, but that was kind of his mo all last season. So I know that those guys. You know, work hard all week. Um, I think we're going to see Travis a little bit quicker out here this weekend. Yep, it should be a great weekend of racing. So we don't want to take up much more of your time. We're going to publish this on Facebook, and uh, we'll do it this way this morning because our Facebook Live connection didn't work. We want to be sure we thank the TLR Cup sponsors. We've got great support from Woody's Traction Products, Amsoil, BP Fuels, Brad Malmgren Photography. If you see the great photos on our Facebook page and out on our website, uh, Brad does some awesome work for us. Uh, Eagle River Dock and Lift, Don's Marine, and, of course, the manufacturers, Polaris, Skidoo, and Yamaha. We also want to thank MSPN and uh, Motorfist for the great swag this winter. Yep. And uh, last but not least, if you aren't able to join us here at the Ironwood Snowmobile Olympus today, you can still catch all the action live for free 
all day. Uh, Ditchbanger.tv, uh, broadcasting here. Great stuff, great features, uh, driver interviews, lap by lap action. Uh, you can download the app for free on your iOS or Android device. And that's all we got. Yeah, just be sure if you download that app to your iOS or Android device that you have your notifications mm -hmm. turned on. Mm -hmm. That way they'll ping you a little bit before the champ guys come out and run their heats and finals. Yep. So have a great day. We appreciate you being with us in Ironwood. We will try and do a better job with Facebook Live in the morning tomorrow, 9.15. Uh, tomorrow's guest is Matt Ritchie. Yep. So have a great day. Hope to see you at the races. We'll see you then.